COVID-19 is shattering Europe's claims to have some of the world's most livable cities, according to a new ranking. The survey, which graded 140 cities for stability, healthcare, education, culture, environment and infrastructure, was conducted in the month through March 2021. The impact of COVID-19 was incorporated in the scores, with the introduction of new indicators to assess healthcare strains and restriction levels for each city, the study said. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the video, starting off with the 10th most livable city in the world, Brisbane, Australia, with an index score of 92.4. Brisbane is a great place to live, work and relax, so it's no surprise that it has made this list today. Brisbane is a livable city with great weather, vibrant green spaces, lively bars and restaurants world-class galleries and premier events. Brisbane is a safe and vibrant 24-hour city. It has a friendly and welcoming attitude, beautiful subtropical lifestyle and a culturally diverse population. I have personally visited the city and I loved it. It felt like a big city but without the crazy hustle and bustle and crime and pollution that you might see in other cities. Number 9 Melbourne, Australia with an index score of 92.5. One of the trendiest and appetising cities in the world right now, especially for younger professionals. Again, just like Brisbane, Australia's tough response to the COVID-19 pandemic has meant that many Australians have spent minimal time locked down and life has gone on as normal for many months compared to other nations. Number 8. Geneva, Switzerland, with an index score of 92.5, so just like Melbourne. Geneva is quite a luxurious place to live. The city is well looked after, public services are maintained to a high standard, and it is very, very safe. If you enjoy culture, eating out or hiking in the mountains, your tastes are well catered for. However, it does come at a cost, as this city and Switzerland as a whole is rather expensive. Number 7. Zurich in Switzerland, another entry for the Swiss with an index score of 92.8. Zurich is not just a great place for job opportunities, but it is also a beautiful place to live that has a wide range of neighbourhoods and nearby villages to suit every taste. Whether you are looking to be in the heart of Zurich nightlife or live on the banks of one of the most beautiful lakes in Europe, it's no wonder Zurich has made this list. But similar to Geneva, it's not somewhere you'd be wanting to live if you're a bit tight for cash. Number 6. Perth, Australia, with an index score of 93.3. Aside from its sharky waters and god-awful remoteness, Perth is an incredible place to live. It boasts flip-flop or, as Aussies say, thong weather nine months of the year, has gorgeous beaches and award-winning wine regions within a 10-minute drive of the city. And best of all, it has very low levels of crime, homelessness and traffic. In my opinion, it is one of the most livable cities in the world. It's kind of like Sydney, a big, nice, clean city, but without the huge population and pollution. It's one of the most laid back and chilled cities I've ever been to. Number 5. Tokyo, Japan with an index score of 93.7. The truth is, Tokyo is a great place to visit and to live for multiple reasons, including the city's peace and security, cleanliness, infrastructure, convenience and an abundance of things to do. It has experienced some damage from the COVID-19 pandemic, but its world-class test and trace system has meant that life hasn't had to change too much compared to others. Number 4. Wellington, New Zealand with a score of 93.7. Wellington is very safe, there's little to no crime in this city. Wellington is a very family friendly area and is wonderful for families both large and small. It is in a pretty central location that has access to malls and restaurants too. However, the main negative for me is that it is a little far from a beach. Number 3. Adelaide, Australia, another entry for Australia with an index score of 94. It is one of the most affordable big cities to live in Australia. That's right, if you want to live in the city life but without the extreme costs of cities like Sydney, then Adelaide is a fantastic choice. It offers the city lifestyle without costing an arm and a leg. It has great weather and a bustling nightlife scene too. Number 2. Osaka, Japan with an index score of 94.2. This city appeals foreigners around the 
the world in many aspects. It is both a traditional and modern city. Osaka has a great transportation system and the largest metro area after Tokyo. It also has a great food culture and people in Osaka are very friendly. And finally, and most importantly, living costs are relatively low in Osaka, especially compared to Tokyo. And finally, number one, the best and most livable city in the world according to this algorithm, Auckland, New Zealand, with an index score of 96. New Zealand's tough lockdown allowed their society to reopen and enabled citizens of cities like Auckland and Wellington to enjoy a lifestyle that looked similar to pre-pandemic life. Auckland is a big city so there is lots to do but not too big to the point where it's overcrowded like say London or New York. It's clean, modern and the climate is rather pleasant year round. So this means Auckland took the top spot with a successful containment of COVID. Notably, six out of the top 10 cities were located in New Zealand or Australia. Cities in Europe and Canada took a blow for sure and were knocked down the list. The only European country to have cities in the top 10 was Switzerland with both Zurich and Geneva. Previous top spot holder Vienna was knocked down to 12th place. Many cities that had previously ranked highly took a knock due to the pandemic of course. The biggest move came from Honolulu in Hawaii. The city jumped 46 places into the number 14 spot which could be down to the rollout of its vaccination program according to this study. So there we have it, the updated 2021 most livable best cities in the world to live in. Do you live in any of these cities? If so, let us know in the comment section below what they are like. I'm fortunate enough to have visited a couple of these cities on this list and I can say they were fantastic. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, remember to drop a cheeky like and if you love learning about countries from around the world, remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you very soon in the next video.